Have you thought about adding a plating solution to your studio? Well, I've just added the Gentner RM Go to mine, and that is going to allow me to plate both gold as well as rhodium. So let's jump in and take a look to see what's involved in setting up this system and why it's a good thing. Now, one of the things that I do like best about this is that I can use this at room temperature. There's very little mixing of anything that needs to be done. And once I'm all set up, I just push a button and everything is taken care of for me. Let's jump in and take a look. Now we get to unpack everything. And this is kind of like Christmas right here. First, I have my anodes. Each of the solution is going to need one as that is what is helping to create that electrical reaction for the plating process. Then there are beakers. Oh, so many beakers. Okay, not really, but each solution will require two beakers, one for the solution and one for a rinse. And no plating solution is complete without good ventilation. And here we have everything set up ready to go. The RMGO system includes the things that I need, including the RMGO rectifier, the electrolytic degreasing system, the gold plating system, the rhodium plating system, as well as any of the cables and the jig to help complete those circuits. I have created labels for each beaker for easy identification. The rectifier itself is not very big at all. It's quite small and it's very portable. You want to make certain that you've got this on a nice solid surface where it's nice and flat. We have three different places where we can plug our cords in. Now you'll notice that I have a number of red cords. We're only going to need two red cords and we're also going to need the black cord. The red cords are going to plug into the red ports as well as the black into the black. So that's kind of easy. Now what's going to happen is we've got the degreaser. This is going to be an electrolytic degreaser. So we will plug that one into this and then our red hook will then plug on to the anode inside of that degreaser. And then the same will happen with the rhodium or you might have a gold plating solution. That one still goes into this rhodium port here. The black is what is going to hold on to the pieces. So there is a clamp on the end of this that's then going to hook onto our jig. That's what's going to go into the different solutions. And of course we have the electrical current that's going to happen and go from the top of this where it's connected down to each of these and then on to whatever it is that we're holding on to. When we're ready to work this, there is a switch on the back. So all we have to do is turn that on. You'll notice that it automatically comes onto that 30 second setting. So I have the option of 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or if I push both of them at the same time, then I'm going to get a 60 second pulse. And that's all there is to that. I don't have to do anything else. Then when I'm ready to go, all I have to do is push the go button and it's going to then discharge that current for 60 seconds. Once that 60 seconds is up, this light will turn off and we will know that our solution is done in that particular plating session. Now safety is going to be a huge thing here. So make certain you're wearing all of your proper precautions, including eye protection, gloves. I like to wear a mask or face shield. And most of all, I have really good ventilation. And in this system, I'm using the Solder Pure by Quattro. Mixing the solution is pretty simple. First, I'm going to get the beakers ready by placing the anodes in each. Then fill them with 900 milliliters of distilled water. Now I can mix that electrolytic salt with hot tap water, but in my case, the distilled water was closer, so I use that. I also use distilled water for the rinse solutions. Only 500 to 600 milliliters is needed for each of those. For the electrolytic salt solution, you want to measure out 60 to 90 grams and pour that into the water. The 100 milliliter bottle of rhodium is all ready to be used. All I need to do is add that to the 900 milliliters of distilled water. Now I can hook up the red cords to each of the anodes and we are ready to plate. So now that you've seen what's involved in setting this system up, be sure you join me in the next couple of videos. I'm going to do a couple on gold plating as well as rhodium plating. Now in the gold plating, because I have both 18 karat and 24 karat, I'm going to do a couple of little tests, not only with the time, but then also with the two metals together and see what happens there. So make sure you join me for those and I'll see you in the next video.